Singapore is working with caterers to provide 180,000 meals to foreign workers who've been quarantined due to COVID-19. It's part of the Manpower Ministry's efforts to improve living conditions, which have come under the spotlight since infections began surging in dormitories. Chloe Chu went behind the scenes to see what it's like feeding 60,000 people. You plan the menu, source for raw ingredients, dice the meat and vegetables and start cooking. While this might sound like a regular day in a catering business, things are slightly different when you have to prepare more than 60,000 meals a day. One assigned caterer, Sets, says it's preparing a lot more rice than it's used to. The company usually uses four huge ovens to cook the rice. Now it's increased to 12. This is on top of its automation line, which normally caters for airline meals of about 100 grams of rice. For the worker, the rice is very important because the, the job they are doing requires a lot of uh, energy. We are giving them 400 grams of rice for lunch and 400 grams of rice per dinner. Behind me, you can see we have the rice line which can uh, produce approximately 600 uh, kg of rice per hour. But of course, it's not uh, sufficient to, to provide the quantity of rice required per day. So we had to uh, bring some oven to be able to assist in the production. Chef Le Bihan says airline meals are usually cooked a day before. But for the workers, the food is sent out immediately after it's ready. Although SET didn't have to make any manpower adjustments, another company, Catering Solutions, has ramped up its capacity. We had to increase our manpower by another 20% to meet the current demand. Um, it was quite challenging in the beginning because we had to give them the induction to ensure that they have uh, the proper knowledge when they're dealing with food. Uh, but we are getting successful at it. We have to procure our, our packing materials and sudden increase in demand has uh, caused a shortage as well. So we are working together with our suppliers to ensure that we have got enough supplies. The company's current team comprises Singapore Airlines crew members and staff from other restaurants not operating during the circuit breaker period. Preparing large numbers of bento boxes within a short time is also something new for the Neo Group, famous for its buffets. Its challenge is not the mass cooking, but packing of the individual meals instead. We activated our subsidiaries to manage our capacity and at the same time ensure we provide our usual high quality. Currently, we are operating at 50% and is rendering full support to the government agency to assist further. This actually during our peak season like Christmas and Chinese New Year, we always activate our office staff like from finance, from sales, even from HR. Uh, we have been involving them. Actually, they have went, went through food hygiene safety course, food hygiene safety course. Yeah, so they are all well trained. Yeah, to help out in the kitchen and sometimes even delivery. The caterers say they have created menus specially suited to the taste buds of the workers especially after several tweaks to make the Bangladeshi and Chinese meals more authentic. And in the case of Neo Group, the additional hands will ensure these bento boxes are delivered to the dormitories on time.